Hello everybody, welcome to the Dot Amot Showground here in Hilton Derby. My name's Tom and today I'm going to be showing you around one of our new, uh, well latest new arrivals. Uh, this is a V-Line 635 Sport. Okay, so it's the Sport model, so which means it's got like the U-shaped lounge at the back uh, with a lift-up tailgate, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, but yeah, needs no introduction really. 2.2 uh, .2 litre, 140 brake horsepower manual. And it's also got the pano view which looks absolutely mint and also gives you an extra little bit of a light inside uh, which again we'll show you it's in the lovely white color uh, which i think i go it goes really well with all uh, the black inserts so the black decals uh, black plastics black pano view that sort of thing black alloys uh, yeah it looks really really well uh, and uh, spot on right you've got down this side you've got your main hookup external shower point Toilet cassettes on this side as well with your fridge and freeze events. TV. TV aerial just at the top, as you can see at the, uh, up there. And like I say, because it's got the U-shaped lounge, you don't have the barn doors, you've got the lift up tailgate, which is just in here. So you've got storage underneath there, which is accessed from the inside. And the thing that is real cool on the, uh, the sport range, you've got this little uh, hidey hole for your, like, your tripod, wheel chocks. Uh, awning winder can fit in there nicely as well, and just a little That's bit more storage. Electric, electric hookup, yeah, yeah, just there. Righty ho, moving down and round. So, previously, uh, the barbecue point was stored in the rear, uh, just there, but on the new models, it's just there. Look, all right, so you've still got a barbecue point, uh, it's just on the inside of your door. Before we jump in though, you've got your fresh water fill and then you've also got your underslung gas tank uh, fill up just there as well. So you don't need any gas bottles, it's all done by the refillable LPG. Wind out awning goes all the way along, again in the black, which goes really well with the rest of the van. And then we'll jump in. So electric entrance step. Look what difference that panel view makes yeah, uh, by having that. It's almost like a skylight uh, yeah. just at the front uh, or uh, like a roof fence. So, in the front, you've got your Xent nice uh, size screen. So you've got like your sat nav, you connect your Bluetooth phone and all, obviously all your radio, DAB and stuff. Uh, all your heating controls. Like I said, six speed manual gearbox. Just over to the steering wheel, you've got all your steering wheel controls just down there as well. Cruise control, your little reader for your gas tanks just down the bottom just yeah. there as well. And loads of little cubby holes and storage uh, access just at the top. Perfect, so it's the whale heating in hot water, uh, just there, so it's nice and compact, underslung, so you've got even more storage space on the inside of the van. Sink, extra workspace, which when is just getting out now. There you are, look, look at all that workspace. A lot of extra yeah, space. just there. Loads of storage underneath your kitchen as well. And all them drawers there. I'm not gonna go into every single one, don't wanna bore you, but they're all empty storage. The same with uh, underneath there as well, when yeah. it's not caught on the carpet. Yeah. Tape. Washroom, so you've got toilet, drop down sink, mirror, storage behind the mirror as well, and then you've got your uh, shower just there as well. Okay, perfect. Shut that now. Mm -hmm. Three way fridge will run off gas, electric, or um, your vehicle battery when you're traveling. Massive wardrobe space, tabletop, table leg, and obviously wardrobe rail. Just there. And then like running an aeroplane, you've got all the overhead lockers going down either side. All, well, empty obviously, but for all your storage and stuff. Just there. Television, so you've got your TV, smart TV, so you can get all your like your Netflix, your Prime, YouTube, that sort of thing on there as well, which is 12 volt. And then we've also got a solar panel on the top. Uh, so you've got your solar panel charger, you can choose which battery you want it to yeah. focus on. Loads of storage underneath here, mm -hmm. just there, yeah. and exact same with the other side, just there. Okay. This could actually be single beds. Yeah. So yeah, single or it does make up into a double by literally yeah. sliding middles into the uh, together, and the cushions will just form into play just there. Can we show them this table? Of course. Table storage, storage extra storage. Yep, yeah, down there. Plug sockets as well. Nice big table top. Around the corner. That's the top of the table storage. And then more storage just in there, look. 
So there's a table for the front and the back. Yeah, front isn't? and the back. And then, like I say, in the uh, lift up boot, you've got that tripod, so you can put them outside yeah. as well or wherever you want. Okay. Super. Wonderful. Right, I'm going to move this onto the showground literally when this video ends. Uh, if you want to come and view it, ask for Tom. I'll be happy to show you this lovely Austro V-Line.